waiting on Ryan. About to go uh, find a spot to do a photo shoot and take pictures of the new gear. And my boy is coming right in. So it's hella dark so you can't see, but he'll be here. You want me to drive? Oh, that's cool. I could drive. Huh? I could drive. Well, if you try the camera, you can't Oh, the true, drive. true. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I That's some good engagement moves. People that came up and uh, chatted with us, and then there's already something that was already pretty familiar with, you know, our brand, and bought some stuff, uh, chatted with us. Uh, I do uh, Joe, uh, Motorhead rode with rode with me down there, so he sent me a bunch of bunch of sent me a bunch of money on my uh, car insurance. Oh, for I'm just kidding. They <laughs> <laughs> saved me a bunch of time on uh, the traffic. Well, not really. There wasn't. There was the traffic was flowing down that way, but it was. Um, it would have took me a lot longer to get there. Where Where are you trying to go do this shoot? Uh, you said you had a spot in Oakland. Yeah. You had, uh, had in mind. I just need to grab uh, some gas and then the sweater. In the shop, plus it's still uh, quite dark. Banged out eighty five, bro. Damn, for real? Yeah, and I stopped for a second. Just cause. Hey, fuck. Were you rehearsing or are they rehearsing? Huh? The push ups? Yeah, you the push up contest. They had that. Oh, they, they had, had that. Oh. Yeah, not me. You won? Hell oh, yeah, I won, bro. I was banging more than that. This big boy was down here. <laughs> if I'm gonna do a shirt, but I'll bring it just in case. It's already hella black. Definitely quick. It's like quick and impactful. Remember, I was I was saying that we need to, or at least I need to think of something that can grab their attention. You know, I'm speaking about the brand to them, and when they ask, yeah. So one of the, uh, the young, one of the young ladies there, she uh, at the at the event, she she walked by, and uh, the raglan with the three buttons caught her attention. She was like, "Man, I like I like these uh, this style of shirt." I was like, "All right, cool." And she just like looked around, and then she was like, "She put so wide nightmare muscle." <laughs> I said, "Hey." So, you know, when I was going through my go-through early on in my life, man, I just felt I needed something aggressive, you know, that represents how I'm, you know, how I'm going and how I'm rocking about life. So I was like, man, that's literally what nightmare is. The, the nightmare is just like just being aggressive, uh, for me at least. And then I was like, and then muscle is just having heart, for, having heart for life, man. We see a lot of people go through life that just don't have no heart, man. They ain't, they, they ain't got nothing deep driving them, you know, they just quit at any, at any, at any roadblock, they go, oh, well, I tried, or just those, those, those paper bag people, man, that just, just flop in the wind, man, just, just going, just, just going through life with, with no kind of passion, so that's what I told her, I was like, man, that's, I said, we all have hearts, we all have a heart, you know what I'm saying, that's the only muscle that I'm, that we speaking about here. Look out, point. Look out, America. Oh, yes, that's so here.
rain. Um, the idea for the shovel, well, initially started with us uh, burying bullshit, burying your excuses, burying you, burying your, any of your circumstances that you feel can enable you to continue to say why you are where you wish you were at in life, or why you haven't been able to start anything to get going in the direction that you would like to start heading in to better yourself. And it's just something weird. I'm into weird shit. What's wrong carrying a shovel around, you know, for a photo shoot? Fucker. <laughs>